Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to today's video. Today, I'm just going to go through my key tips that will help you hopefully organize your interview preparation. Now, before I continue, I would like to say thank you to White Coach Mentoring for making this video possible. Now, as with the recent BMAT video, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to get straight to the point. What's the point of interviews? Well, it's to actually ensure that you're a genuine person, that you're not a lunatic, and that you actually have a, a real interest in medicine. There are a lot of things you can derive from your personal statement from someone's UCAS form, but then you really can't actually tell whether a person is real, is genuine or not, until you meet them. Meeting a person may completely change a medical school's outlook on whether they want the person or not. I've got many friends who've had near all A stars who've been rejected from medical school simply because interviewers thought medicine was not suited for them. There are ways that you can prepare really effectively that will help you do very well. Now listen carefully and put these steps to use. The three main things that you should focus on over the next few months are number one, go through your personal statement and make sure you think of as many questions as possible that are related to it. Number two, start with mock interviews. They are really important in building your confidence, but also in helping you find areas that you are quite weak in, so that you can work on those and then keep improving as things go on. Lastly, number three, try and learn more about medicine in general. Whether you go to interview courses, I don't know, there are some run by six med and all, make sure you actually go and learn about medicine, learn about ethics, learn about medical principles, try and pick up a few medical words that you can try and incorporate in your, in your interview technique. Right, those are the three points kind of in summary. I'll go through each one of them in detail right now. So listen carefully, this video will be short. Firstly, I said, go through a personal statement and think of all the questions that you can think of. What's the point of that? Well, you've written your personal statement to outline your desire to study medicine. So it's perfectly reasonable for the interviewers to ask you about pretty much any part of your personal statement and you know they'd want to hear more about it. And so what I suggest is that you sit down, have a printed version of your personal statement and go through highlighting and maybe annotating areas that questions could be asked from. For example, if you mentioned that you were in a cardiovascular department and that you saw many patients with uh, myocardial infarctions, they would expect you to have read up on myocardial infarctions. And so a reasonable question could be, explain myocardial infarctions and maybe talk about a risk group that, uh, that may be present in the population for myocardial infarctions. Really simple questions, but questions which verify your interest that you've mentioned. Also, really important questions are about skills that you not only saw on work experience, but that you've developed as well. Whether that's teamwork, communication, whether that's um, leadership, you need to, again, think about questions that they could ask related to those skills. So really sit down and annotate. Number two are mock interviews. Why should you do mock interviews? Number two is mock interviews. Why on earth am I telling you to go and spend your money on mock interviews? At the end of the day, I don't want to spend money, you don't want to spend money, but think about it logically. You are going to go out there and you're going to be doing interviews with random people you've never met before. This is going to be a new scenario for you, and in this scenario, you want to make sure that you have the best impression possible. So by doing lots of mock interviews, you are repetitively putting yourself in the position that you will be at medical interview. There'll be someone who knows a lot about the field who will be asking you questions. Now I've seen in the past, having done a lot of medical coaching for medical school in the last few years, people who do more mock interviews simply find interviewers far easier. They're not nervous, they know how to compose themselves in an interview, and last but not least, they've got so much feedback from all of these mock interviews that they can then use this and apply this on the actual interview day and make sure they get that offer. Now whitecoachmentoring.com they are an on-demand mock interview service. So let's say today you feel like, okay, if I have a mock interview, I can try and improve. Maybe I want to see where I'm at at the moment. Go to whitecoatmentoring.com, book a mock interview. Within two hours, you have a time slot organized. And the best thing about White Coat Mentoring is that they offer a refund guarantee. So let's say for some reason, you don't actually find the interview useful, which is actually quite unlikely, they'll happily give you a full refund. And I think this is, uh, this sort of represents how confident they are that you will find the mock interview useful. Why would you turn down something that experts think will be useful for you? It's quite silly. Go and check out the website and get some mock interviews organized. There's no point just doing mock interviews with solely biology and chemistry teachers from school. Fine, they're really clever, but do they actually have a background in medicine? No. 
So the questions they ask will be kind of random, but also the feedback they give you won't be actually meaningful. And so don't be surprised if you know you go to the interview and you find that it's completely different. So book mock interviews, they are really important. So don't be stupid about it and go and do it. Thirdly, learn about medicine in general now. So as well as having done work experience and having gone through a personal statement, I know all of your volunteering and all, there are fantastic courses that you can go to. For example, go to lectures, go to conferences, use medical courses like the one day learn about medicine courses to learn more about medicine. Use courses like Interview Crash Course, where you go there for a day and you learn so much about medicine. From these events, you'll pick up medical jargon, medical words, and that will make you sound more convincing on interview day. Not only that, you'll also sort of pick up a sense of confidence. You'll feel more like a medical student. You'll feel more like a doctor going to these events. And again, they want to see the beginnings of a doctor in a mock interview. And so going to events like this will really help you get closer to that ultimate goal. So to summarize again, go through your personal statement now, book mock interviews and start attending courses and events because this is the time to do it. And if you don't do it now, don't be surprised if you get a rejection after interview. The reason why you get an interview is because the medical school thinks, right, this candidate could be suitable for us. So the fact that they've given you an interview, the fact that you have a chance of getting into even, just start preparing now because for interviews, you cannot prepare last minute. It has to be gradual. It has to be over a few months to weeks. And if you do that, I can guarantee you'll find medical interviews much, much easier. So thank you for watching. I'm gonna stop talking there. If you have any questions, inquire to these companies, do whatever you want to do, but make sure you actually follow the tips that I've given you because at the end of the day, I'm here to help you. I'm not against you. Now, last but not least, you're right, although I'm doing engineering now, I'm still going to be doing medicine advice videos because I feel as if I have quite a lot of experience in that and so I can help you guys quite a bit. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.